In section 3.4, you will solve systems of linear equations in three variables. In order to find three unknowns, we need three equations. So in this system, we're going to use substitution to solve for our three unknowns. And we're going to choose a, an equation and a variable to solve for. We're going to, I'm going to solve for x in the second equation. Okay, so if I take that second equation and get x alone on the left, I'm going to have negative 4 plus 6y uh, minus z on the right-hand side. And now I'll substitute into the first equation and the third equation for x. So in the first equation, I'm going to have 2 times negative 4 plus 6y minus z plus 3y plus 7z equals negative 3. And distributing to get rid of parentheses, I'm going to have negative 8 plus 12y minus 2z and adding like terms on the left, I have 12y and 3y, that's 15y and I have negative 2z and positive 7z, that's 5z. And then adding 8 to both sides to get my constant terms on the right, I have negative 3 plus 8, that's 5. And now I look at this equation and I see that there's an extra factor of 5 in every term. So if I divide every term by 5, I can simplify this equation. I'll be left with 3y plus z is equal to 1. Okay, now I need to take <coughs> and substitute in for x in the third equation. So I have minus the quantity negative 4 plus 6y minus z minus 3y plus 8y or 8z is equal to 1. Okay, now distribute to get rid of parentheses. Negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. Negative 1 times 6y is negative 6y, and negative 1 times negative z is positive z. And adding like terms again, negative 6y and negative 3y is negative 9y. 1z and 8z is 9z. And subtracting 4 from both sides, I have 1 minus 4, or negative 3 on the right. Okay, now I see in this equation I have an extra factor of 3 in every term. So I'll divide every term by 3 so that I'm left with negative 3y plus 3z equals negative 1. Okay, and now I have a system of two equations and two unknowns. And if I add the equations together, I can see that I will eliminate my y terms and I'll be able to solve for z. So I'm going to bring that second equation over here and write it below the first equation. And add the two together to eliminate y. I have 1z plus 3z, that's 4z. And positive 1 and negative 1 are 0. So when I divide both sides by 4 to solve for z, I find out z is equal to 0. And now that I know z is equal to 0, I can go back to either of the two equations and solve for y. So I'll take this second equation over here and I'll substitute in 0 for z. Okay, 0 times 3 is 0, so I'm left with negative 3y on the left and I have negative 1 on the right. And now dividing both sides by negative 3, I find y is equal to 1 -third. Now I know z and y, so I'll go back to this second equation that, where I got x alone in the beginning and I'll substitute in for y and z in order to solve for x. So I have plus 6 times y, which is 1 third, minus z, which is 0. Okay, so I've got x is equal to 6 times 1 third is 2, and 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2.
So now I have my solution, and I'll write it as an ordered triple, x, y, z. I have negative 2, 1 third, and 0 as a solution to this system of three equations, three unknowns. Okay, in our second example, we're going to use elimination to solve for our three unknowns. And when we use elimination, we know that we add a multiple of one equation to another equation to eliminate a, a variable. So if I just add these first two equations together, I'm going to be able to eliminate uh, z. So I'll add equation 1 to equation 2 to eliminate z. So 1x and 2x is 3x. 3y and 1y is 4y. Negative z and positive z is 0. And on the right-hand side, negative 11 and 1 is negative 10. Okay, now I need to add the first equation to the third equation to eliminate z. But I can see that I'm going to have to multiply every term in the first equation by 3 in order to eliminate z. So I'll go ahead and I'll distribute. 3 times x is 3x, and I'll add that to 5x to get 8x. Then 3 times 3y is 9y, and 9y added to negative 2y is 7y. And then 3 times negative z is negative 3z added to positive 3z is my 0. And, and 3 times negative 11 is negative 33 added to 21. That's going to give me negative 12. Okay, and now I'm ready to use elimination or substitution on this system of two equations, two unknowns, in order to solve for x and y. And since there's no coefficient of 1 or negative 1, I'm not going to use substitution. I'll use elimination. And I'll choose to multiply this first equation by 8 and the second equation by negative 3 in order to be able to eliminate my x terms. So distributing, I have 8 times 3x. That's 24x. I have 8 times 4y. That's 32y. And all the way across, I have 8 times negative 10. That's negative 80. Okay, now distribute through the second equation by negative 3. Negative 3 times 8x is negative 24x. Negative 3 times 7y is negative 21y. And negative 3 times negative 12 is positive 36. Okay, now I'm ready to add the two equations together to eliminate x. 32y and negative 21y is 11y. And negative 80 plus 36, that's more negatives than positives. And it looks like negative 44. So now if I divide both sides by 11, I find out y is equal to negative 4. And again, now that I know y is equal to negative 4, I can go back to either of the two equations I started with in order to solve for x. So I'll take this first one, 3x plus 4 times y, and y is negative 4, is equal to negative 10. So 4 times negative 4 is six, negative 16. I'll have to add that 16 to both sides to get my x term alone. So I'm going to have 6 on the right-hand side. And now dividing both sides by 3, I find out x is equal to 2. Now that I know x is 2 and y is negative 4, I'll go back to that first equation that I added to the other 2 in order to solve for z. So in for x, I'm going to substitute 2. In for y, I'm going to substitute negative 4. And I'm going to solve for z. Okay, so <clears throat> 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, and negative 12 added to 2 is negative 10. And now to get negative z alone, I'll add 10 to both sides. So negative 11 and positive 10 is negative 1. And dividing both sides by negative 1, I find out that z is equal to 1. 
So again, I have an ordered triple that satisfies this system. X is 2, Y is negative 4, and Z is positive 1. Now if I wanted to check that solution, all I'd have to do is substitute those three values into each equation, each of the three equations, and make sure that that ordered triple made each equation true. Okay, in our next example, we're going to use substitution to solve. So again, I'm going to choose an equation to solve for a variable. I'm going to get z alone. So I'm going to add that x to both sides, and I'm going to subtract 2y from both sides. Okay, now I can substitute into the other two equations for z. So my second equation becomes 2x plus 2y plus z, which is 3 plus x minus 2y equals 5. And adding like terms, I have 2x plus 1x, that's 3x. And I have 2y and a negative 2y, that's 0. So all I have to do is subtract 3 now from both sides to get my constant terms on the right. 5 minus 3 is going to leave 2. And to get x alone, divide both sides by 3, so I find out x is 2 thirds. Okay, and now I'll substitute into the third equation for z. So I have 4x plus 4y plus 2z. And in for z, we put 3 plus x minus 2y equals 6. Okay, distributing to get rid of parentheses. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 2y is negative 4y. And that all equals 6. Okay, adding like terms, I have 4x and 2x, that's 6x. And I have 4y and negative 4y, that's 0. So I'll subtract 6 from both sides to get my constant terms on the right again. 6 minus 6 is going to leave 0. And now when I divide both sides by 6, I find out x is equal to 0. Now this is a contradiction, because x can't equal both 2 thirds and 0. So because I end up with this contradiction, there's no solution to this system of three equations and three unknowns. Contradiction. So, no solution. Because there's not going to be time to complete this application problem, we will uh, solve this application problem together in class. Include in your notes of this video guided practice problems 1 and 2 found on page 180 of your textbook. Try and solve one of those problems using substitution and the other problem using elimination.